Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA18C and we're looking at what I think is the best weapon in DCS at the moment, the AGM-62 Wall I-2. And we've just understood or figured out or been told that you can link it with the TGP, the Lightning 2 pod, which just makes it absurdly good in every way. Uh, if not a bit OP, but awesome. So we can link it to the target in pod and we can designate through waypoints. So you don't have to use the fiddly little uh, sensor on the walleye 2 to find the target which is very difficult and makes it to be honest in modern combat pretty useless there's a target about 10 mics ahead of me we're going to go to situational awareness which we'll always do zoom that in there we're going to put waypoint one on we're going to sequence that next we're going to get our walleye ready uh we're going to go to stores walleye air to ground on first walleye keep it caged next we're going to go to our lightning pod so our blur here and we're going to make this uh, sensor of interest or DDI of interest with sensor select switch right to get the diamond there like thus. Next we're going to slave, uh, sorry, we're going to move the T-Pod sensor to be roughly where the target uh, waypoint one is, which is roughly where the targets are. So I'm going to use my TDC slew keys to move it and we can see if we can get that box there. That should be roughly on target and um, just find them visually there they are. So, we're going to get that one on the left there. Let's just uh, get that in there. Let's zoom in on the little swine. That guy there will do, do you think? I won't bother with point track. Point track, I think, is a bit overrated. It's, uh, it does not really need it. It's non moving targets. I think that should be accurate enough. What we're going to do is designate now with center select switch depress. Pressing that now. That's going to feed the information from the teapot over to the wall light. The wall light, and you can see now, has a timer. Timer to we can release of 86 seconds. Also showed up on the hard, and we can see the sensor on the wall light currently does not have an active target spotted. So we're just going to pass time now until we get a little closer, speed up, get some energy in that bomb. Right, we're close enough now that we can uncage the uh, weapon here. Uh, we could have done it earlier, but I like to leave it until a little bit closer. I'm going to center select, center select left to make this our DDI of interest. There we go. So TDC is now on this DDI. We're going to press cage uncage. Ping. And it's now slewing itself to the point of interest, which should be that tank there. Got no zoom here, so we're just going to have to hope it is. Uh, we've got it. You can see it's picked up a valid target with walleye there. And uh, we have got a few seconds before we're going to drop, so just going to give it a little time. We can tell it's off to the right, so to help the bomb off, help the bomb out, because it's not a very manoeuvrable bomb. We're just going to head to the right before we drop. We're now in range, so we can drop any time now. The, the closer we get generally, the more accurate we can be, but that we should do. I'm pressing and holding weapon release. And the bomb's not coming off. What have I done wrong? There we go. I just wasn't holding the button down long enough. I'm just going to level myself out now. Or whatever. In fact, I'm going to turn our flare off. Flare off. We don't need it anymore, if I can remember how to. Just like that. Let's watch the bomb. There's always a chance it might lock onto the, uh, 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 a different target. Because I put these targets... Oh, you've killed someone. Oh, that's, that's RC's bomb. Oh, no, it's my bomb. No, sorry, I'm not sure whose bomb that was. Oh, this is RC's bomb. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong yeah, bomb. That was your bomb. Now, notice this how... I, Roger, I was actually targeting the left guy, but the wall I locked onto a guy's... Two guys to the right. That's just a thing that happens. There can be a misunderstanding between the TGP... And the walleye is kind of a good example to show, actually, if there are targets very close to each other. And it's hard to tell because the TG pit, uh, the walleye screen, it's hard to zoom in. So it's just something you've got to keep an eye on. You can, if you like, take command of the walleye and adjust to the next target. But it's just something to bear in mind. If the targets are far away from each other, that problem doesn't exist. We're just going to head out now, turn back, and then we'll do uh, an INS designation through uh, waypoint designation. We're going to select our next weapon, step across to station 2. We're going to go to our ba, 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 HSI uh, waypoint one, sorry, selected. We're going to designate that as a target point. We've now got a target point seven miles away, turning in now. Waypoint one, if I've done it right, should be on top of a tank. We'll see how that goes. Again, because there's tanks close to each other, the walleye may get confused and go for its neighbour. We'll just have to see how. Um, it worked perfectly practice, but we'll just have to see. Oh, hello, RC. I do see you. Yep. Okay, I'm just going to get a walleye slewable limits before I hand it over to the walleye. For to do. Okay, walleye, we've now got DDI and the TDC on the left uh, DDI. I'm now we're going to uncage. Okay, we're now giving control to the walleye. It's found the target on waypoint one. It says it's a valued target, valid target because the WE has not crossed out. And we've got 56 seconds to go. I'm just going to put myself, neutralize myself here. 
let's see what target selected once I'm neutralized and I am now neutralized and it's got pretty much bang on the guy I selected with the waypoint in the middle I can't be exactly sure um, but that is the guy but I imagine it is this can be a bridge it can be a building it can be a runway it doesn't have to be a um, tank okay we're in range I'm gonna drop the bomb now I'm gonna level out Okay, my second bombs out I'll see on a waypoint one I'm not gonna lie I am very fond of this weapon I'll see I didn't know that. <laughs> well, now you know. Now you know I am fond of it. It's everything a man or woman wants in a weapon. Full sexiness. And kaboomy. That. Super simple. So, the walleye is now even better with TGP access and waypoint degradation from the INS system. Anything you want to add to that, RC? Nope. Hope that's, that's useful. Great. And see you later.